Hello. Uh, I want to start with Kevin. Um, I feel like a lot of people are very excited about the returning characters, but I wanted to talk about this new class or breed of survivors that have an impressively strong will to survive, and maybe not in the way that Kramer anticipated. Uh So I was curious if you could talk a little bit about that in the casting and kind of what direction you were giving them in some very painful scenes. Well, uh, you know, I made sure that we only hired actors that had the the (laughs) intensity to to pull it off, you know, and if you think about someone like Paulette Hernandez, who plays uh, Valentina, and if you consider the amount of coverage, there's so many different camera angles on her during this extended sequence. She had to do that over and over and over, over the course of days, right? And um, she never flagged in her energy. Uh, I, I, I don't even know how she did it. It just, it seemed like Amazing. like a miracle, you know, like the ultimate performance in a, in a soft film. And the, other, the others were all really great as well. Uh, her sequence comes first, and I think the other actors are like, ooh, she the bar is set. <laughs> she yeah. did. Yeah, she does. Uh, it's incredible. And the set, the production design, it's like, how did you go about making this feel like, I mean, we're in a new location, we're in Mexico, but this is also a Saw movie, and there's, you know, the quintessential, like, rust and grime and green color tones, so how did you kind of, uh, what was your approach to kind of blending the two? I think it all goes back to storytelling. Because at the beginning of the movie, you know, we're in the States. So we want to make sure that everybody says, okay, we're in the United States and we're in these cooler colors and blues. And then now we're going to Mexico and there's richer golden tones. And then, you know, the folks are invested in the story and then they're going to go into trap land, right? And once you get into trap land, you want to give the audience those colors from the first and second saw. And they're all like, all right, we're in it, we're back in it. And we wanted to honor the fans and we wanted to look at you know, those first two films. So that was our approach, basically. Do you have a favorite trap of the movie? I mean, I'm sure you can't spoil it, but. For, for me, it's the one that I was just referencing. I have um, two. I'll let... You have two. Yeah, I like the eye trap very much just because it's iconic, it's on the poster, and it's something new, right? And then I feel like the brain surgery trap, you know, people, there's so much tension in that trap. So I really love it. And also it reflects, you know, the fact that we were in Mexico. So that's a really good thing. (laughs) It is. And you designed that. Yes. Uh, What were you pulling from? Klaalik. It's uh, Tlaloc, the the fertility uh, god of the Aztecs. (laughs) Yeah, also uh, god of lightning. I didn't Mm. know if you knew that. Okay. Yeah, so we have a little bit of we really going wanted, on in that one. We wanted to put as much of Mexico into the story as we yeah. could. Um, you know, we were limited in, in terms of locations that we were allowed to shoot at, but uh, I like to think we gave it that spirit. Yeah, and you saw the statue, so that was connecting the statue that is, you know, when they drive by that, and he has that now at his house. <laughs> it's actually a seven-foot-tall <laughs> statue, but digitally we enhanced it, you know. So it was a, a large-scale miniature. And thank you so much for your time.